final year biomedical engineering in Anna University Chennai. I am going to talk about application of EMG based human computer interface in sports. My talk is based on the open access document entitled A Practical EMG Based Human Computer Interface for Users with Motor Disabilities. Journal of Rehabilitation Research and Development, Volume 37, published in 2000 by Armado B. Barretto, Scott D. Strangle, Malek Adjodi. First, we are going to see about EEG based brain computer interface. Brain computer interface is the advanced interface which forms the communication channel between the human brain and the external computer. Whenever a thought arises, millions of neurons get fired up and the combined signal will be picked up as electroencephalogram that is EEG. Each thought signal will have unique amplitude and frequency. These signals can be picked up on the surface of the head by placing electrodes. It is normally in the range of microvolt. These signals will be given to the external computer and it controls the specific computer application. For example, if you think of moving your hands up, that particular thought will produce a unique signal and it is sent to the computer. Here it is processed and assigned to perform a specific function, say moving the cursor up. The major disadvantage is the interference of EMG signal with the EEG. EEG signal is the obtained from the brain, whereas electromyogram EMG is the signal obtained from the muscle. Normally, EMG signal is stronger than the EEG signal. So, while picking up the signal from the scalp, the EMG signal from the pericranial muscle affects the required EEG signal. So, the computer will not do the correct or required function. Andrew Jenker is the first one to develop a device which analyzes both EMG and EEG signal. Instead of assigning the computer task by using EEG signal alone, we can use combined signal of both EEG and EMG. For example, by moving your eyebrows up and down, we can control the cursor. Here, the picked up EMG signal commands the movement of the cursor. The EEG signal engages or disengages the EMG signal via the on or off mechanism. The experiment is done using the electrode E0, E1, E2. E0 is placed in the frontal, that is here, and E1 is placed here in the temporal region, left side, and E2 is placed in the right side of the temporal region, that is here. If you detect the signal in the E0 electrode, that means you are moving the eyebrows up. This in turn tells the computer to move the cursor up. Similarly, if you detect the signal, the signal in the E1 electrode, that means you are moving the left jaw. This in turn tells the computer to move the cursor left. Once the signal is detected, it is processed and analyzed using power spectral density, that is using amplitude, that is height of the signal and the frequency. Each type of thought signal will have unique power spectral density. The analog signal is sampled that is converted into digital format so that computer can easily understand. Human computer interface is useful in playing computer chess, carom and other computer games. Even the disabled persons can do wonder in games if properly trained. Even the paralyzed person who cannot move the entire body below the neck can become champions by using his brain alone. This human computer interface is an emerging technology which can help the physically disabled persons to go places in sports. Thank you. Vanakkam. Vilayattu Thurayil, Dasai Minnalaihal Chanda, Brain Machine Interface Ennum Inai Mughatthin Pahinpaattei Patri Inga Koora Ullai. In the Tholi Nukpatthi Moolam, Moolai in Minnalaihalai Electroencephalogram Ennum Karivi Moolam Seharitthu Aarandu Adai Uri Kanini Yin Uri Kuripitta Sayilai Sayu Maru Vadiwamekka Mudiyum. Ahabay, Oona Mutcha Varkulum, Kaikal Oona Mutcha Varkulum, Vada Mutcha Varkulum Kooda in the Tholi Nukpatthi Moolamaha Vilayattu Thurayil Mikha Periya Sadhanayilai Kuriya Koolum. Nandri.